All right. So now we come to the most important question: What is your work setup like? What 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 operating uh, system you use? Which editor you use? Do you have any special workflow which helps in your productivity? So I sorry, I, <laughs> that was just a lighthearted moment. Yeah, no, it's, a, it's a good question. I use I I used to use Linux for the last maybe twenty years, but lately I actually I don't know. I use a Mac because I like the the M one. You know the Apple M1 uh, Macs, they're really fast. The CPU is really, really fast. And so it uh, to give you an example, it uh, I had the latest Intel desktop machine at, at, at um, uh, Lano. And uh, it uh, you know, was a lot of money and so on, and you know, very latest. And it compiled um, L Fortran in maybe 16 seconds. And then um, my wife's, we bought this cheapest, you know, third, for thirteen, what for one thousand three hundred dollars? You know this Apple M1, and it compiled El Fortran at the same time. So how is that even possible? You know, like, so so this is just you have to see it to believe it. But yeah, I timed it. I timed it side by side. Even I clicked enter on both. You know, I log into my computer at work, and then and, and on, on the local terminal, I hit enter at both. And <laughs> I finished. So, yeah. So anyway, and then. So right now I have the Apple M1 Mac that's even faster. So it compiles it in about 11 seconds or 12 seconds. So anyway, so I, I, I just like the speed so much. And ultimately, and regarding the rest, I'm actually, even with you, I was using Ubuntu and I guess I was not really, you know, one thing I learned is that if you start customizing the desktop too much, then you come to a new computer, you have to recustomize everything else. So I just kind of use the stock Ubuntu, no customizations. I use a terminal obviously, for most of my work and I have my uh, like dot in it, the, the dot files, you know, for with the configuration, but for the same reasons, I try to keep it very simple. So I use Vim as my editor or NeoVim, I guess, um, and, um, and Git. So I have a Git config file, but that's it. I think those are the two main config files. Lately, I started also use, uh, to use VS Code, which is an editor, IDE, I guess. Um, but so I use uh, Vim and VS Code. And so on the Mac, I still use Vim and VS Code and a terminal, and I don't use anything else. So uh, for me, the workflow just doesn't change. And if I use Windows, I would do the same thing. I would use VS Code, I would use a terminal. I think Windows has a like this nice new terminal. Uh, so I would use that, and I would use Vim also. So I can use any operating system, I guess. Okay, good to know. So I was using uh, Vim and uh, a bunch of uh, open source software on Windows. Uh, and every time I had to uh, tinker with it a little bit, I had to look up online and all the help was from the Linux guys. So actually I was putting in more effort in Windows to trying to get them to work. So I thought that what the heck, let me just move over to Linux. It'll be easier maintaining them. And I have been doing it. So this particular recording is being, I mean, I'm on Ubuntu 24. So there you go. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> 